we can bring them captive and say, no, that's not what the Bible says. That's not what Scripture tells us. Ask the pastor. How do I block unholy thoughts? How do I block those unholy thoughts? How about that, yeah. Pastor? Uh, such, such a good question. Uh, I believe every single one of us have unholy thoughts <laughs> at times. What do we do with those, right? Uh, I don't believe there's a way that we can block them as if they will never come into our mind, but I do believe there's a way that we can deal with them when they do show up. Right. Uh, so if we were to go to uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 10, uh, verses 4 through, uh, actually I'll start at verse 3 and kind of go down to uh, verse 5. It says, For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war according to the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God for pulling down strongholds, casting down arguments, and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. Right. So the importance of helping us to understand that uh, as we get the word of God in our hearts, as we read it and study it and meditate on it, when those uh, thoughts come up, we can bring them captive and say, no, that's not what the Bible says. That's not what scripture tells us. That's not how I'm supposed to think. Uh, we see this very clearly in the life of Jesus, right, when he is um, in the wilderness and the devil is tempting him. Right, tempting him to do something wrong. And what does he do? He bring up the word of God. He brings out scripture right, to combat uh, the thoughts or rather the conversation right, that the devil is having with him. So I would encourage you, right, study the scriptures, memorize scriptures. So as those thoughts come up, you can bring them captive to obey the word of God. Amen. How about that, Pastor Turner? Again, uh, Willie wants to know, how do I block unholy thoughts? That's why I don't like sitting by him. He took my scripture. <laughs> you get a good, that one's but always I, does a good job. I got, I got some more. Um, my, one of my favorite verses, and I think it's Pastor Hall's too, is Psalm 1. And it says, in his law or in his word does he meditate day and night. Amen. The reason why you're meditating or you're getting into the word of God is because you're bringing your thoughts subjective and submitting yourself to the will of God. Mm -hmm. Faith cometh by hearing, hearing by the word of God. Now, this is the next part that no one hears. How can they hear without the preacher? One of the ways to, to combat unhealthy thoughts, get faithful to your church, get around the believers, get around the body of Christ, and your environment changes, and the way you think changes. And the last verse I want to give is Philippians 4 and 6. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer with supplication, make your request be known unto God. I listen to the next part. And the peace of God. Very God, peace. Yes, sir. God will bring you peace when you give everything to him. Amen. Good word on that, Pastor Turner. So um, uh, this reminds me, uh, uh, several years ago, I was doing a chapel service with another pastor and uh, his, uh, we both would take turns preaching. Uh, he would go first, then I would go. We'd had, had 45 minutes apiece. And I remember he was halfway through his message. He was telling the guys, uh, he preaching from 1 uh, Timothy chapter 6, verse 20, uh, guard what has been entrust, entrusted to you. And he was telling them, you've got to guard your heart. And uh, I'll never forget this. One of the guys raised his hand and, and he said, how do I do that? How do I guard my heart? And this poor preacher, he, he had no clue. He came with that great message, but didn't have any wow. plan on how to do it. Mm -hmm. And he turned around and looked at me and he was like, help me. And I said, well, the scripture, James chapter one, uh, receive the word implanted. Mm -hmm which is able to save your soul. Uh, like uh, Pastor Turner mentioned, Psalms 1, uh, blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the, of the ungodly, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scoffers, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law, he meditates day and night, and he will be like a tree planted by rivers of water. That's the plan. You fill up your heart with Christ so nothing else can get in there. You got this uh, uh, Blaise Pascal called it the, the hole uh, in, inside of us, the uh, God-shaped vacuum. You got to fill it up with God and then that other stuff can't get in there. So that, keep your nose in the scripture, be in church with fellowship with other Christians, pray, uh, you know, live the life, walk the walk, and you will find that slowly those, uh, those thoughts start creeping away from you and you, you lose those. Amen. Good word, Pastor. I'm sure that pastor was glad he came after you. I mean, before you, before, <laughs> before you. <laughs> pastor Nancy, how about that? 
How do you get care of those? When we say unholy thoughts, too, can you touch on that a little bit, Pastor Nancy, so people can get an idea? Well, I think that we are bombarded by society. Just driving in the car, we've got wow. billboards staring at us. We put on the television, we've got nakedness staring at us. There, we, we talk to non-believers and they tell us dirty jokes and, and, and different things. So the Bible talks about renewing our mind in Romans 12. And it says, um, therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer our bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. And that's what Pastor Hall was talking about. We need to fill our mind with the word of God and we need to live a holy and pleasing life to God. And, and it says, do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And this is talking about breaking cycles in our life. And the only way we're going to be able to break those cycles is to um, guard our hearts and to guard our eye gate and our ear gate and um, fill it with the word of God. And um, one of my favorite verses is Philippians 4, going on from um, 4 through 8, Going on to um, verse 8 that says, finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. So this is how we renew our minds. We think think about the things that God wants us to think about. And when those thoughts come into our head, we just start to pray and we ask God to get rid of them. And he will because he is faithful and he does not want that to be part of um, his people. Amen. Good word on that, Pastor Nancy. Praise hey, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the video. To see more like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button below. Get all the latest content from TCT Ministries. We'd love to pray alongside you for God's blessings in your life. So you can email your prayer requests to prayer at tct.tv or click the link below and submit your request at tct.tv. God bless you and thank you for watching.